New numbers show depression is at an all-time high in the United States. Both rates are the highest since Gallup began its measurements in 2015. The U.S. Surgeon General is issuing a new warning about social media and its impact on teens. And while we still don't know its long-term effects on mental health, given how it's so new. Anxiety, I thought it was sort of a modern version of worldwide uncomfort. The sort of place that we are in society where media and technology and all of the stressors of life have created a lot of anxiety. It's genuinely changing every cell of our body in a way that makes us more susceptible to inflammatory related diseases and more susceptible to stress. People don't like to feel their emotions. There, there's more uh, conflict, there's more tension, there's more things to worry about. There is an anger, there is an angst, it's everywhere right now. Everybody seems to feel it. That's not to say it's irreversible, the brain continues to change and develop, but it is setting the stage. It doesn't matter what you believe, how old you are, your politics, we all know it's not working. We've depersonified each other. We're not we're not people who recognize that we have more similar to each other than we have differences. Things won't start working until we start working.